Hey guys, so as promised, uh, with 20 likes, I went ahead and created this how-to video on how to create a uh, wireless garage door opener and closer that closes your garage door um, with the MyQ Hub when you leave and come back to your house with your car without having to worry about pressing any buttons and I'll also show you how to create a notification sent to your phone or your Apple Watch once uh, your garage door opens or closes to alert you. There's other functions uh, that are possible with this uh, way of doing things as well, as uh, such as turning on your smart lights in your house, setting your thermostat temperature, um, turn on your sprinklers. So it just depends on what kind of compatible uh, smart devices that you have in your home. So I'll show you a little bit of those as well. Hopefully this tutorial is easy to understand. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, what you wanna do is go ahead and purchase a MyQ Smart Garage Hub from Chamberlain. You can get it at Best Buy for $37. Amazon had it for their Amazon Prime owners on Prime Day for $17. Uh, it was, that's when I got it because it was super cheap. But at $37, it's a lot cheaper than uh, $300 that you could spend on uh, the Tesla Home Link. So this will work for any car because it's attached to your phone, not specific to your car. So you can uh, always use this for any other car as well. So once you get that MyQ Hub in, what you wanna do is download the MyQ app on the App Store. And you can see I have mine set up, uh, named it uh, Alex's Garage already. Uh, it's currently closed for five hours. So what you'll wanna do is once you have this open, the first thing it's gonna show you is it's gonna allow you to select the device that you purchased. Um, you wanna go ahead and add a device. So it'll look like this. And you'll go ahead and add your Smart Garage Hub. It will tell you what you need, so you'll just check all that. Hit I'm ready, so we'll just go ahead and do that for example purposes. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. And once you go ahead and hit ready, it'll tell you to go ahead and plug in your MyQ Hub to an outlet to power it on. Now you can go ahead and mount your MyQ Hub in your garage. I mounted it right behind a garage motor. Uh, up in the ceiling. It took about five minutes. Uh, it's a very light device, so you don't have to worry about really any uh, anchor points or anything like that that they give you. I just went ahead and mounted up in the ceiling. And once the light turns uh, blue, there's gonna be a light that turns blue. And once that light turns blue, you're gonna be able to uh, be connected with your phone through the app to your Wi-Fi, your wireless uh, wireless modem. So you wanna go ahead and do that first. And once you go ahead and do that, I'll show you the next step. Next step is very easy. You just get this other device that comes with it. This is the sensor that detects when your garage is open and closed. You wanna mount this sensor that comes with two 3M tapes. You wanna mount that on your first panel of your garage door or your highest panel of your garage door, either on the left side or the right side of your garage door. So that way it can transmit to your hub. And then once you do that, you, there's a little button here that you press. And once you press it, the light will turn red and your hub should flash. So there's a little light that you see it. There's a light in the middle of that hub. It'll flash like a flashlight telling you that it's connected to the sensor. And that's really all you need to do for this particular part of the device. You want to go back to your phone and go to your app store and download simple commands. Um, 
let me see if I can find that app here. So simple commands. This is the app you want to download. It is free, so they don't charge you anything for it. Once you download that, go ahead and open it up. <clears throat> it's going to show you the items that are connected to your smart home. Uh, what you want to do is you want you can go ahead and add, remove items. So you want to add an item. And you want to click on my Q openers and click on add. So that will go ahead and add your my Q opener. So what what it'll do is I'll ask you to input your username and password on my Q. That way it'll link up with my Q and add your garage door opener in there. I went ahead and added my wink. There's other items you can add like your uh, ratio, which is a sprinkler system. I didn't add that, but plenty of devices you can add on this app here. You want to go into um, this little three bars once you do that. And you can click on routines, but here's an easy way to do it. Here's a, the basic way. You can click on your garage, which is my queue. And as you can see here, you can control your garage door from here, or you can schedule triggers, enable Apple shortcut, enable web hook, or geo triggers. What you want to do is do geo triggers, and you want to set your home to where that's where your starting point or your ending point is. And you can click on in, when you enter location, when you enter your home, and you would open so you hit open for the trigger action and add trigger so every time you come close to your home um, what i found is it's pretty close to your front door it will automatically trigger the open and it'll open your garage door so you want to do that again you want to go ahead and do another geo trigger and you want to do the exit location when you exit your home when you leave your house it'll close so you can click on close add trigger and it'll close your garage door when you leave your house so that's how you you can set up the geo fencing where it'll automatically open and close your garage when you leave your house with your phone or with your smartwatch if you have the app for your smartwatch, which is also free. So here's a little bit of an extra uh, thing that I did where you can set up routines for your triggers. So instead of just opening the garage door when I come home, it will recognize that I come home, it will open the garage door, it will turn on my lights, and it will turn on my TV LED. Uh, when I close, when I leave the house, I just have it close my garage door and that's it. So for those of you that are afraid of not, of your garage door not closing or not opening um, in a timely manner, there is another way to safeguard that. So what you can do is go into your MyQ app. Once you're in there, you'll see your garage door here. You'll click on the three dots here. Let's see if I can click on it without. There you go. So once you click on the three dots, you'll see notifications underneath your garage name. You want to click on that, and you can you can select it, or you can add it. I added mine already. My my I, na I just named the garage, but you can select it. Put in your notification name. It can notify you. You can notify it when uh, notify you when it's open, stopped, or it's closed. And it can tell you. You can ask it to notify you immediately, or it can ask you to remind you. So I put immediately. And you can also set the time of day when the notification is active. I just left that off because I want it to be active at all times. 
kind of want that to be pushed over to me um, like an instant message push notification or it can be emailed to you so once you get that set up you can just save it and I have it saved every uh, I have it uh, working every single day so that is the easiest way for you to um, get the setup notify you whenever it's open and notify you whenever it's closed